So, so we're walking down through the last little bit and trying not to slip into the water. Yeah, she's made it through. Careful, don't slide on that. Have to come all the way up there and all the way down those rocks down there. From up there. I'm about to go through this last bit, which is probably the easiest bit anyway. Kerry's loving this walk down here. Keep going. Unless you want me to go first. Do you need a hand or are you going to be rock make it on your own? This is the wettest piece here. Look at those moves. Good, well done. So we're down in Portisieu Gorge. It's been an absolutely beautiful walk, some pretty radical bits. That was a pretty hard bit getting through there. But it's absolutely beautiful, look at that. Water up there, all the way to the top. Really scary because basically, as you go around there, and you look up, I'm gonna walk across here carefully without tripping over. Another beautiful water pool down there. We're gonna be swimming shortly, but where you look, you walk underneath these rocks, and you just think any one time they could pull down. It's a, it's a real high risk rock area. It's right cool. and there's Kerry over there waiting for me to get back over there and loving it. Oh. Oh. Keep leaning forwards. Crawl if you have to. So this is probably the scariest thing that we've done all trip. And Kerry's almost there, so. I'm actually going to do it one-handed. Fingers crossed. Have a rest. Look how happy she looks. <laughs> there she's up the top. It's up the top, yeah. Beautiful. Made it easy. Last few steps to go. But I can't video at the same time, apparently. There's actually a bit further to go from there, so carry it over there. That's where we came from down there. Oh, and that's the top. And she's gone like a bat out of hell up there. I guess to get away off the stairs. Here we go. So that's where we came down from. That path down there. All the way up. It's a long way away, down all along the edge of that cliff there, and out over there. Goes a lot better where we've come from, right, right down over there. That's the path down there we came up, all along there, along there. There's people standing there having a break, I think, down there, up along there, along there, and up around those rocks there. Wow, what a walk! And Kerry just busted it out non-stop. Okay, action. <laughs> Straight in, oh no mucking around. God. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <It's gone. laughs> Hurry up. Oh my lord. Let's get right in there. Oh, oh no. Don't worry about the fish, just quickly keep going. Don't I'm stop. not worried about the fish. <laughs> I've only got 124 gig of storage space on this camera, babe. You need to get in quicker. Oh, Tommy bit me. Oh, okay. There she goes. She's done it. There she is swimming around in the water there, waving, trying not to drown.
You see, if you dived in, you'd be like, instant freeze. Well, you might be okay. That's likes aren't. <laughs> oh, wow. It's our last visit to Fortescue Pool. We're just heading up the stairs after being swimming at the other one. Tom Pom Price Caravan Park and the stack of cockies, cockies have just rocked up everywhere. Like we're not feeding them, but it looks like they think we're going to. But yeah, you don't usually see them up this close. They're pretty crazy. Look at that. Beautiful. Hello, Cocky. Hello. Come on, jump at the phone. <laughs> yeah. All right. Do a little dance. Oof. There they are. So here we are, camped at Tom Price. It's actually really quite a nice camping ground. Not too crowded. And actual fact, most of the sites have lawn. We've actually been put in the sunny site because I guess we're only staying for one night, but when you're here for a couple of nights, you, you get these nice shady sites. So, yeah, looks like it's a pretty nice place to stay if you wanted to hang in for a couple of days and see the sites. We're going to hit the um, walk trails later on this afternoon. Down uh, this track to a place, to a place called the Circular Pool. It looks pretty good there, but it's actually a couple of pretty gnarly bits on there. It says a four wheel drive, a two wheel drive can make it, but I don't know if a normal two wheel drive would. And anyway, we're about to head down this track here, the circular pool over there. Yeah, this was, this was circular pool, which we've driven down a really ra radical road to get to with some pretty big steep ruts and that. Managed to stay on the, the high bits of the road, so not hit the bottom of the car, but there's a little bit of water there, but not much. It's something different. It's like a little gully, I guess. When there's a bit of rain around, it could actually be quite nice. So uh, yeah, there it is, circular pool. I think it's just down there. It's beautiful. Whoops, it's actually turtle pool. I guess I haven't seen that many turtles, so yeah. <laughs> anyway, turtle pool. It's got some little fish and lots of skitter bugs. So here we go, over some pretty rough road. There's a pretty gnarly sort of crevice come up there, but we're gonna quickly just jump this little bump here. And we're going to go across here, swap sides, come over here, Whew. whoa, come this way, stay long on this side, and very slowly, very easily, put both wheels either side of the mound so as not to hit anything, and if I line it up perfectly right, it should be easy, whoa, to go across this pretty large bump that normally would have knocked the bottom out of my car, <laughs> albeit an all-wheel drive variant <laughs> with a front-wheel drive. So um, yeah, this is a track that they said was a good two-wheel drive track, or you could make it a two-wheel drive if you drive carefully, but it's not really the best. It's like, yeah, pretty pretty radical. Whew. All the way to the end of the, end of the track, but now we've walked it and going slightly crazy at the same time. But yeah, we're just getting through that big lump there it was going to be a little bit too much for my little car. So we stopped up there. <laughs> Good move. So driving through some of those um, thin tracks has dropped a couple of little scratches on the side <laughs> of the car. But nothing that won't buff out, I wouldn't have thought, with a little bit of cut and polish. Getting up in, uh, in um, Tom Price. Pretty early because we're going for a early walk before um, we drive towards the coast of Nakakara. Nak and the first 
gas bottle has finally run out. So we've had that ever since we um, bought the caravan we've used the same gas bottle. So I've got a brand new bottle right there. So I'm going to do my first gas changeover. Um, or not. <laughs> Just forgot to turn the gas on. Unbelievable. I thought I put it on last night. Derp. So here we are at Tiger Eye Creek and we're looking for stones. That one's probably a bit big. That's a beautiful one, but yeah. And Terry's doing picking up the stones. So we're trying to get a little bit of everything before we leave this beautiful place. Unfortunately, there's no water, so they're pretty hard to see. You have to sort of basically spit on them and clean them to see what we're looking at. But yeah, it's a lot of stones in this riverbed, obviously. Oh, look, there we go. Wow, whoop. oh wow, don't let this granite. We're at um, Chino Roadhouse and um, just coming across this racehorse goanna. So I thought rather than taking a picture, I would show you a photo look at him go. Wow, that is pretty amazing. Hello. How are you doing, kiddo? What's happened there? That's pretty amazing. He feeds himself apparently, but he just does hang around here. That's why you got signs saying close the doors. So looking at a beautiful night. Sun's gone, just gone down. And we're at, hang on. Where are we, oh, babe? Where's this? Babe, where's this? Beasley Quick. River. Where? Beasley River. Okay, so now we're at um, Beasley River. We had stopped at um, a place called Chila Plains. But it was going to be 50 bucks a night so we basically went one kilometer down the road and then we found this really fantastic spot which we just stopped here which is basically free so uh there's no power but it's actually beautiful the weather's fantastic it's not cold it's still sometimes it's best to find these little spots like this are way better than what you can pay for it's pretty amazing how bright the moon is it's just a couple of days so the full moon when we're going to see the steps it's so bright that you can actually see your shadows or oh, not over it with the camera but you can see shadows of the moon absolutely amazing it's just like light out here it's crazy So here we are in Onslow, our first time at the ocean for probably about a month or so, or since um, Esperance Way. And as you can see, we have the lovely red dirt beaches. <laughs> Funnily enough, not even the beaches get white sand here. They looks like they're mixed with a bit of that red dirt to create these quite nice, like beaches. Smell fine, no waves, nice water, shallow reefs, fast tides and a few rocks and bits and pieces on here. So we're just gonna take a bit of a walk up and down this lovely piece of beach and see what we can find. Okay, so we're on the Ashburton River and 6 of the 8th was a recent crocodile site and that's actually yesterday. So we've had a look down here and there's a the river over there, so we're not far away from the river. And we're going to have a bit of a look, see if we can see a crocodile. Chances are pretty remote, I would suggest, but Okay, let's well, Can't see a crocodile, but okay, down there. Hang on, that looks like crocodile footprints. Down there, there they are. 
crocodile footprints. They walk along the edge of the river there. So, uh, yeah. Right in crocodile territory here. But it's a beautiful spot. Which is like a lot of people camping down here. It's free camping all along this, this part here, three miles of it. Beautiful, beautiful scenery. Beautiful down here. Amazing along this um, Ashburn River, it's been kilometres and kilometres of uh, caravans everywhere you go. Another three more here. It's just like one after the other. Everybody, this is where everybody obviously stays. They come up here, but what a nightmare it would be. There's constant dust blowing over here. But yeah, pretty well. Look at that. Another caravan, another caravan. This is actually where it's not very crowded either. The places back there that was like 10, 15 caravans in the same sort of distance. Another caravan. There's another one there. And there's another three, four more up there. Wow, it's actually incredible. More here. Everybody's here. This is like... So we're coming up to a up to a cow crossing. I guess we're just going to wait for these cows to go, apart, go, go through. So, uh, yeah, pretty wild. It reminds me when me and Nathan went around Australia and we were like, surrounded in cows. So here we are at, at the old Onslow Cemetery, which has only got about 50 people here. Um, majority of them were Protestants, and here's all the Protestants here. And then if you go right down to the back there, that's where the uh, five Catholics were buried. Right back there. You see that they kept segregated. But uh, yeah, it's just like another one of these old graveyards. And, Yes, I mean, in pretty good nick, and obviously the Onslow was quite a walk there. When you compare it to some of the other graveyards we've seen, where basically there's no headstones in most of the graves. So here we are at Yanari rest stop. We got a really good spot which we had under the tree, the shade of the tree during the sun. But it's right near the drop toilets, but the wind's coming into my face, so we're not getting them. But there's like about heaps of people out here. So later on, I'm going to walk over there and um, do some star shots. So, yeah, not the best gaming spot, but it's uh, free.